garlic. I got my Ghana garlic from the Caribbean shop or any African or Ghanaian shop. Get my mixed vegetables, my chopped tomato, fresh tomato, my corn beef, chopped onion, maggi tablet to season, two boiled eggs, and then chili pepper. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour about two tablespoonful of the vegetable or sunflower oil into my saucepan. I fry my onion first. Cook my onion first. You cook the tomato and the onion properly too. The water chop tomato and the chili pepper to the cooking on, uh, onion and then I stir now my tomato sauce is ready you see I remember don't add salt until you finish adding the corn beef this is my this is my corn beef you have you taste for the soil, you know, corn beef is add to it. The corn beef is already cooked, so I'm just warming it up. This is my corn beef stew. You can see it's cooked. Remember to cook the veg in a stew before you add the corn beef because the corn beef is already cooked so it should go in last now my stew is ready I leave it on to cool for about 5 to 10 minutes if you don't leave it for it to cool a bit the garifota will go sticky now my stew is ready so I'm just going to pour enough gari for my stew this is the gari the dry gari I just pour enough for myself and sprinkle it with salted, slightly salted water because you already have salt in your stew. Slightly salted water, cold. So using your hand or a spoon, you just moist the gari. You know gari is very dry, moist it with cold water. And then you add your stew to the gari. You can use your leftover stew in the fridge if you have any. You have your leftover stew in the fridge and you don't feel like rice or MPC, you just warm it up. And mix it with your garlic. Some people like it very soft, but me, I, I like it made very So here to be served. Mmm, it's nice. At this stage, if it's not, the salt is not enough, you can still add a bit, a pinch of salt. Now my garlic is ready. 